Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about cameras. This is the first video of a series that I'll be pro uh, producing and posting here on Blender 3D Architect with a focus on Blender for beginners. And the first subject that I want to cover is cameras, how to work with cameras, uh, some of the most important shortcuts. Uh, but before we start uh, talking about cameras, uh, you can uh, keep track of uh, just uh, two quick things. First one, you can keep track of all of the shortcuts, anything that I do here on my uh, keyboard and mouse, looking at the lower left side of my screen, if I press, for instance, I'm pressing the N key, you will see that it will display the shortcut here. And I also have my uh, mouse mapping here. I'm not sure if it's working. I'm using uh, an add-on called Screencast Keys. It will display all of the shortcuts there. Second. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with the next uh, videos of this series with a focus on Blender for beginners. Now let's get started. This is the default scene of Blender. Whenever you open Blender for the first time or if you create a new scene, this is what you will find. Uh, a light source, a cube and a camera. This is the camera. If I use shift and the middle mouse button, I can move my scene and the middle mouse button, I can orbit around my scene just to adjust here and put the focus, put the framing or, or camera at the center of our, our view. And uh, one thing that I wanna start explaining about uh, cameras in Blender is the concept of an active camera. If I select the camera, you can select objects here in Blender by just clicking on them. If you click on uh, at an empty space, you, you will deselect your objects. If I select the camera and press Shift D, you can make copies. You can place your copy uh, anywhere you want by confirming the new location with the left mouse button. I create multiple copies. I have six cameras now. And one thing that you will notice about those cameras is that each one of them have this small triangle here at the top. Just one of them have a few ha, has a few color and all others just an outline. It means this camera here is the active camera. What is an active uh, what is uh, an active camera? In Blender, whenever you start rendering something for instance, Blender only process what the active camera is looking at. You will find the controls to uh, make changes and update your active camera here in the view cameras. We have the options to control and set your camera, but let's move to a different scene so we can start uh, managing and working on our cameras. I won't save this. Now we have this scene here. Let me move it around. And by the way, you can download this scene as part of the free scenes that I have in blender3darchitect.com. Uh, I'm not the author, uh, it's from another architect, but he was kind enough to uh, provide this uh, scene in the public domain. So you can download and do whatever you want with this project. And here we have many different cameras. Let me show you some of them around. We have one camera here, as you can see, this is the active camera. We have another camera right here. Another camera here. They all, they are there, but they are not active. We have another big one here. And I think those are, yeah, another one just here. And how can I uh, move or align my view to the active camera? Like I said, you can use the view, cameras, active camera, or press the zero on your numeric keyboard. This is something that I, I, a lot of people do not know. Uh, what is the difference of the numeric keyboard and the alphanumeric keyboard? Uh, if you have a full size keyboard, let me show you my keyboard here at the screen. Uh, on the right side, you will see that you have some uh, dedicated keys on the right with just numbers. This is the numeric keyboard. Some people do not know, which is fine. Uh, if you have a full size keyboard, the keys, the numeric keys on the right side, this is the numeric keyboard. 
Uh, if you press the zero on your numeric keyboard, Blender will move and jump. It will align your view to what the active camera is looking at. This is what the active camera on my uh, on this project is actually looking at. If I select this other camera here on the other side, I can turn this camera into active by going into view cameras and select active object as camera. This is the selected object. You can also use the control and zero of your numeric keyboard. If you press those, Blender will turn uh, that camera as active. If I rotate my view here, you can see that this camera now uh, has that triangle with the fill color. You can do the same, for instance, with this camera here. If you press Ctrl and zero of your numeric keyboard, it will jump and turn this camera here as active. It's actually looking at a closed door. That's why it's not framing at anything. We can try with this camera here. Control zero, it will jump and align to this view. Now, this is just uh, one of the shortcuts and another thing that you probably will want to do. What if you don't have a full size keyboard? What if you are using a compact keyboard or uh, if you are using a notebook or a laptop with a compact keyboard with no numeric keys? In that case, you can emulate these uh, keys in Blender using the edit preferences and using here the input tab and going into emulate numpad if you activate this emulate numpad it means you will be able to use your alphanumeric keys here above your letters for instance if i press the zero here it will move it will act as if it was uh, the zero of of my numeric keyboard some people don't know uh, what is the difference and this it's uh, it's uh, always nice to make it clear for them how they can take ad, uh, advantage of those numeric uh, of those short keys uh, or those shortcuts using the keyboard because they are quite useful uh, in Blender. Now that you uh, already uh, saw some of the keys, let me remove my keyboard from the screen and we can come back to look at uh, other shortcuts, useful shortcuts regarding the camera. Let me set this camera here as active, Control zero. And uh, with the active camera selected, we have a few options to adjust the framing of this camera. You can select the camera if you, for instance, select anything else here on your scene, you can click at the border of your camera. You will see that we have now a border around your camera framing. You can press the G key now just once and move your mouse to adjust the framing. You can press either X or Y to move your camera just at one of those axes. I can press the Z key to move it up or down. Let me press ESC. We can uh, also move our camera into the local Z axis, which emulates something that we call camera dolly. It will move at the same axis, a, perp a perpendicular axis uh, where uh, of this uh, camera plane. If you press G and Z twice and move your mouse up or down, it will emulate your with your camera something that we call camera dolly. It's like working with a zoom of your camera, but you are actually moving the camera. If I select the camera here, it will be easier to see. I will just set the camera here with move and change my transform orientations to local. You will see that the Z axis is pointing exactly in the same direction. Uh, the axis of the Z, uh, it's pointing exactly at the direction where the camera is looking at. So if I press G, Z twice, G, Z, Z. Oh, I already have my camera set to local. G, Z, Z, it will move it 
on that axis. If I press, if I set, if, if I align my view again to the camera and go into the My Properties editor here on the right side and open the Object Data Properties, you will see that we have the camera options and one of the most important aspects here of the camera is the focal length. This camera is using 18 millimeters, uh, which is common for interior views like this one. It's closer to something that we call a wide view or ultra wide view. If I set this to, for instance, with a 12 millimeters, it will uh, make it even wider, but at the cost of distorting some of the shapes closer to the border of your camera. You can see that those uh, handles here of those cabinets, they are starting to look uh, kind of weird. They are uh, kind of stretched. I set this to eight. It will make it even wider, but this, uh, this, uh, those balcony, uh, this, those, uh, these cabinets here, those doors, they look massive. We usually leave this between 18 and 24. Oh, 24. To avoid any potential distortions. And to finish up our tutorial, we can take a look into two uh, additional uh, topics here related to camera. How can I align a camera that I just created and how to create a target for a camera? As you can see, uh, cameras in Blender do not have a target. You have to move them around with the G key. You can rotate your camera with uh, the R key. If you create a new camera, if you press Shift A, and add a new camera. We have to first set this camera as active with the control zero. And now you will be using your navigation shortcuts. For instance, let's say I wanna place a camera in this location. Let me move it around. I'm using the middle mouse button and the shift in the middle mouse button to adjust my, to adjust my view. And I wanna align uh, that new camera to this location. If we go, uh, if you go into uh, the view cameras, you will find that we have here or uh, into align view, sorry. Into align view, we have the align active camera to view, which you, you can access using the control alt and the zero from your numeric keyboard. This is one of the oldest shortcuts uh, from Blender. Uh, I still remember that this, this was one of the first shortcuts that I learned uh, uh, about cameras in Blender when I was starting Blender back in version, if I'm not mistaken, 2.35. Uh, it, uh, it's uh, one of the oldest, uh, I think one of the oldest shortcuts that I know uh, about Blender and it still works. If I press, Control Alt and the z uh, zero from uh, my numeric keyboard, I will align the active camera to this view. And again, I can make adjustments. For instance, I have the camera selected. I can open here my properties, set my focal length to 24. I can press the G key to move my framing, adjust it here. If you want, you can press the R key and the Z key to rotate to look around your scene and adjust your framing. And if you wanna make a dolly movement, you can press the G key Z twice, move up or down to move your camera. For instance, let's set it here. So we have the active camera in this location. And to finish up our tutorial, let's say uh, you want to create a camera and add a target to that camera. How can we add a target to a camera in Blender? If you press Shift A now and create a camera, I will move it here with the G key. Let's raise this camera by selecting it and pressing the, either the X or Delete key. 
you need an object if you want to create a target you, we need an object to work as uh, as a target and one of the easiest ways to do this uh, here in blender is with an empty if i press shift a and go into empty we can add a simple empty here with a plane axis if you per if you prefer something with a geometric shape you can also use a cube but let's use a plane axis this is an empty object it doesn't uh, appear in any renders or anything else it's just there as a as a way to help you with uh, something like adding a target to a camera and what we have to do here is to select the camera first press and hold the shift key and click into the empty so the empty will be the active object of this selection and you can go into object track track to constraint when you do this your camera will now point to the empty and if you select the empty and move it around your camera will follow that movement it will work as if the empty uh, is the target of your camera for instance if you place your empty close to this wall and you move your your camera you will see that blender will now track and move this camera as if it was following that empty this is an easy and straightforward way to add a target to a camera in blender And this is it. This is this was the first uh, part of this series with a focus on a Blender for beginners, uh, with uh, the camera being our first subject. If you liked the, this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the following parts of this Blender for beginner for beginners series. And if you are a beginner with no previous experience with Blender, don't forget to check my book, uh, Blender 4.1, The Beginner's Guide. It's uh, currently in version 4.1, but it works just fine with Blender 4.2. Uh, you will find the book as either an ebook in digital format or as a paperback. And we have versions in English, Spanish, and French. Uh, if you buy the book, Thank you, it supports my work here in Blender 3D Architect. I hope you liked this tutorial and I see you next time. Bye.